This is your boy Yasharala here, and we have Brian, and um, he's on his way out. Brian, do you believe in the Bible? No. My name is your boy Yasharala. That means broken spirit in Hebrew. Nice to meet you there. How to shake your hand? And um, I can trace my heritage all the way back to the tribe of Gad, the original people of this land. You know that we're Hebrews according to the Bible? I know you have a child over there. You know we're the Hebrews? What, what all do you know so I can just be oh, real quick huh? to leave? Yeah. What all do you know about the Bible, about us being Hebrews? I don't know too much about it. You know about the slave ships? Yes, man, I know a little bit. My, my grandma was a um, Christian pastor. Uh, no, uh, no. She was a um, pastor. She was a pastor? Yeah. So you know about slave ships and the word nigger in the Bible? I don't know too much about the word nigger. All right. All right. Listen, just real quick. Okay. From Old Testament to New Testament the, and the Tanakh, you know, the minor prophets here. We're the Hebrews. I can bear witness that we're the Hebrews. The Bible speaks about slave ships in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, all right? Sons of Solomon states, I am black but comely. The term they get, I am black but beautiful. Acts 13 and 1 said the prophets and the teachers called niggas, all right? That's in the Bible, King James Version of the Bible. If you get the 1611 King James Version of the Bible, it'll tell you that the northern king, the my tribe, the tribe of Gad, took us a year and six months to get to this place. This place wasn't called America. It was called Ozarin, which means hidden land, okay? So, is that yours or something? Okay, all right. Um, you'll be from the tribe of Judah. There are 12 tribes of Israel, okay? You got to do your research. So, in 1998, a burst of light entered my body. 2006, it took me to hell and back. 2008, he showed me a vision concerning this place, the one they called Jesus Christ. I can see future events. There are women in the Bible like me, Deborah, Anna, Mary Magdalene, the sisters in the book of Acts, would just not recognize. Why? Because the wicked Pharisee scribe Sanhedrin killed Christ and put him up on the cross. I'm talking about people that look like you and I, wicked men and women. You understand me? So... And April 17, 2008, at 2 o'clock at night, the one that called Jesus Christ spoke to me. He said, enough is enough. Didn't want to hear it. I'm still running like Jonah in the well. You know about Jonah in the well, right? So in about 15 minutes of my sleep, I was awakened. And I was transformed from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I was made new. And I was ascending down into a building. That building had a window in it about 60 feet across. And I could see people walking through that window every day. So it wasn't the days of Noah. The sky rolled back as a scroll as the Bible states. And he began to speak. He said, enough is enough. That's when I looked up. He said Chicago will be the first to fall. And I saw a missile, and it obliterated Chicago. You know what's happening every day in Chicago, Brian? 31 shot this past weekend. You saw that? All right, then. Not only that, when the pilgrims came here, one of the first places they set up a religion was in Chicago. The Bible defines religion according to the book of James. There's no such thing. He came back years later and said Jamestown, Virginia will be the last standing. I tell you what happened at Jamestown, Virginia. It's twofold. They brought my brothers and sisters here. In 1619, and then most of all, but last but not least, they started slaughtering the tribe again, all the way from Jamestown, Virginia, to this place after Columbus. After after Columbus, it's this place is called what? Christopher Columbus, right? After Christopher Columbus. So that's Isaiah 43 and 6. You've held the children of Israel and refused to let them go. He said this place will be up in smoke by 2019. So the real New Year, you got until uh, last March, last month, until next March. I don't know the day. I don't know the time. I don't know. The hour, but I do know this place is about to be up in smoke. I got a slight stutter because I got a brain injury to my head. I'm doing bad today. The government tried to kill me about 20 months ago on 85, 100 to 150 miles per hour. A bright light entered the car and slowed the impact down. Father, son, the spirit, the spirit was there. The mother, she's a woman. I've seen her too. And um, she told me some, uh, uh, some things that's, that's about to happen. I heard the voice of the one they called God, but I've never seen his face. But I have seen the one they called Jesus Christ. Wonder why they called LeBron James King James? That's who Christ looked like. And all I could do was bow down at his feet. That's Revelations, the 17th chapter. That Revelations, the first chapter. Daniel, the book, the book of Daniel, the seventh chapter. See, when I'm doing bad, I start stuttering really bad. This nerve damage. And uh, describes, um, Daniel describes God. The one they call God. And it describes, um, Christ again. Do you understand everything I say to you, Brian? Yes, what do you understand? Because I'm about to leave. I'm about to let you go. Okay. What do you understand? What you got to do? You got to repent and be baptized like Christ did. That's Mark 16 and 16. You've been to the water? Yeah. All right, then. No Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, and all that stuff. Why? Because Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, tells you they were putting up a Christmas tree before Christ was even born. Luke, the second chapter, 
tells you that he was born during the harvest, all right? It's only by his blood you're going to make it out of here. You're looking at a female Moses filling Genesis 49 and 19. A troop shall overcome Gad, but he shall overcome in the end. Like I said, you never, the Pharisees, scribes, and Sanhedrin, or what you would call so-called preachers, which means public speaker, will never tell you what I'm telling you, Brian. So when you go home, you look me up on YouTube because they killed Christ and put him up on the cross because of position. Anybody telling you that a woman cannot um, do what I'm doing because they got an issue with what they call God, his son, and the spirit, the woman that sits on the throne. Last but not least, you ever heard the term that to give you God's name, his son's name, and the spirit in Hebrew, okay? You ever heard the term that quick chat? Hiya, hiya, hiya? Because that is God's name in the Hebrew, the native of uh, chat, the Indians. Hiya, 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 sure, hiya, I am that I am. I got a Bible app and I can show you everything I'm on my phone. It translates the Bible to the from the original languages, okay? So, his son's name is not Jesus. There's no J's in the Hebrew alphabet. His name is Yeshaya or Yesha, which means to say the Holy Spirit. She's called the Ruach, the breath of life. When they tried to kill me, I heard I heard a, 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 a rush of wind like you just felt around us. That's the Holy Spirit that's present right here with us. She's called the breath of life. I heard she entered the car. So, do you have any questions for me, Brian? All right, you understand everything I said? I'm in pain, excuse me, okay? What do you gotta do as a Hebrew to make it out of here behind the troop that's leading these people out here very soon? What you gotta do for the most time? What I tell you you have to do? They celebrate what? No Christmas, no Easter, no Thanksgiving. Last night, please, I gave you two cities. The most High said they're gonna bomb what city first, Brian? Chicago. Last place standing. Can't see? That's because you got to remember your own brother, your own sister standing here, all right? Yeah. The tribe of Gad. Did you not see? When you get home, look on the news. They, a so-called gas bomb went off in North Carolina yesterday. The, the Messiah told me that they will begin bombing this, this place. You're going to see little bombs bomb, little bombs drop first, and then the big bombs fall from the sky. Okay, so I have to bless you. Blessed are the readers and the hearers of his word, most of all the doers of his word. Brian of Shabal Yasharala. Chicago will be the first of all. Jamestown, Virginia, the last tenant. Bless you. Look me up on YouTube. And uh, take that with you. We're almost home. Anything else you want need from me? All right. Bless you, brother. Walking long roads and